that there may be some people at home not enjoying this weather, so we're going to take you on a little vacation for our community spotlight. Those are the words of Richard Zelinsky. He's going to explain why he's from the Danville Symphony Orchestra to get you excited about an upcoming concert that's set for this weekend. We were just raving about this. You were just telling me we're taking people into an, a place of culture and, and excitement of energy, and so tell us a little bit more about this. Yeah, the concert that the Danville Symphony Orchestra um, and several and a guest artist and myself are doing on Saturday, 7, 7.30, Dick Van Dyke Auditorium in Danville. Uh, it's called Noches Hispania, so it's the Knights of Spain, and we're featuring uh, Rochelle Sinet, who is a um, you know, wonderful pianist, and she's doing a piece by Manuel Di Falla, who's from Spain. We have Debussy piece that uh, he's writing. He's a French composer who's writing about the southern region of, of Spain, the Iberia uh, uh, area of Spain, which is beautiful music, very rhythmic. Um, then we're going to do a suite from Carmen, the opera Carmen by Bizet. And then uh, there's this wonderful uh, composer, Marquis. This is called Danza Number no. 2. Um, and then we're going to end with uh, one that's probably familiar. I need the audience to kind of jump in because we're going to do Mambo from West Side Story, which had the Jets fighting the Sharks in the gymnasium scene. So it really takes you on a journey through music that has been influenced by Spanish culture, music, dance, and uh, it's beautiful music, and the orchestra's working hard, and, and I can't wait to bring this music to the community. Well, let's touch on that, too. Talk about the <coughs> breadth of talent that's at, at, on campus at the U of I, where we learn about all these gifts and, and the place in Danville, where they bring all these people together. You were just saying that's the, the gift of music is bringing people together. Yeah, sometimes we, you know, we, we, we forget about that, that, you know, these people are coming from different places. Uh, of course, you know, I'm an alum of the University of Illinois, so it's, it's great to be here and, uh, and to be working with some of their faculty members, but when you bring people together and they're harmonizing and playing in tune and the rhythm's right and the dynamics are right, then the audience kind of feels this unity as well. And so, and now we're taking people to a different culture. And I think that's important nowadays, that we see these other cultures and the music. We can learn about other cultures through the music. And this music from Spain with the Spanish influences are just, it's wonderful. Well, I want you to touch on too. Can you talk about how you know music is a, is a really a healing mechanism? Absolutely. And talk about that as well. How you you use music in your sense as a, as a gift to also heal places. Yeah, I've always felt you know I've been so fortunate to to be a conductor and to be a musician, educator because you do bring people together. Now this might be that one hour and a half for somebody on a Saturday night that you bring peace of mind that they could you know, go visit another culture and, and share that with an audience. Now, that audience and like people on stage, they might not all be from the same walks of life, but for those, that hour and a half, we're all together, experiencing emotion, we're feeling, we're hearing, you know, and, um, and I think the orchestra, the, these, this music is so creative from this area. So the, the, many of the pieces of music uh, from the first half of the program are right around 1912, 1915, before World War I, and it's this really beautiful time in, in uh, Paris and in France, and these composers and artists are writing about Spain, and it's really quite, quite fascinating. I think people will, will like that. But also the, that what we build is that community yes. through that experience, not only people on the stage, but the people who are in the audience. Well, so Richard, before we run out of time, tell us how we can indulge in this this weekend. This is Saturday, uh, March 9th, 7.30 at the Danville High School Auditorium. It's the Dick Van Dyke Auditorium. We're featuring Rochelle Sinet. Uh, pianist, wonderful pianist, playing uh, Manuel's Du Falla, the Knights in the Spanish Gardens. And we're also going to broadcast, uh, or we'll, we'll project oh. these pictures from these Spanish gardens in Spain. So come on out, you know, join us out in Danville, and we'll take you to Spain. A little vacation with you. Absolutely. Uh, Richard, we can't thank you enough for all the time you gave us today. Thank you. Absolutely. Make sure you take advantage of this concert.